Hunt, out. Gentlemen, in case we're knocked down, you're going to be required to take an eight count. Man scoring a knockdown. Go to the corner they send you to. Don't come back out till they wave you in the center of the ring. You get in close, you're tied up, and I say break, I want you to both stop punching and both of you step back. All right, this is going to be eight rounds. You come out boxing in each round. Any questions at all? It's okay. show time, baby. Good luck. It's show time. Alfonso Bailey and gentleman John Scully. And this round is a turning point for the fight. Both fighters realize that now, if they're going to make a run, a stab at this, at this fight, they've got to get busy now. They've really got to pick it up and lay it on these last five rounds. You've got the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. And I tell you, I've got Scully slightly ahead, but this, these rounds are so close. I've got Scully up by two rounds right now. On the 10 point muster, two points. And this is an eight round fight instead of a 10 round fight. Right. So, and the distance is even closer, so they need to get busier. Yeah, he needs to stay right there. He needs to stay on top of Scully to be effective. That is the advantage of Bailey, but now Scully starting to counter out of the corner. All right, I got it. Let him out. Step back. Bailey, breathing through his mouth. The heat has become a factor over the last couple of rounds for Alfonso Bailey. And look at those body Mike, shots from Scully. He senses that Bailey is tiring. He's going downstairs. The head moves. The body is just going absolutely nowhere. That's what Scully is trying to Mike, got, capitalize right, on right now. Old saying in boxing, throw the body, the head will fall. Not much on that straight left from Bailey. And he yeah. took four shots on the inside from Scully. There's a good short left by Scully. All right, I got a little. Not many combinations these first few rounds. Scully dominating, though. And he was able to go in the right-left direction. And there's a good combination. Again, another combination. Bailey cannot allow Scully to get off those combinations without making him pay for it. He needs to pick up the pace, but he is tiring. Look at that mouth. It's wide open. The hands are coming down. It doesn't seem like there's much behind the blows of Alfonso Bailey. Big right hand by Scully. Dagger Bailey. And Bailey walks into that right hand. And he's bleeding. He's got a cut over his eye. Scully senses the kill. Nice punches by Scully. That cut is over the left, the eye. left eye of Alfonso Bailey. Look, I got it. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. All right. Dick Clarity pulling back Scully to take a a little bit of a look at that left eye. And stay right here to find out whether Bailey is going to be able to continue. He took a look at it, but he allowed them to, to work on the cut. He sent him back to his corner. Let's listen to that corner. Be quiet. Now. Right, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Listen out. You fought it head, but you're still winning on the inside. Okay? Give me some grease, pal. Give me the adrenaline. Where's the adrenaline? Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Here's a look at it. You gotta stay on this guy. From that sixth round. Bailey got nailed with some heavy punches. Nice straight right hand. There's the right. That was the beginning of the end. Get the green. Good work by Scully. Now. Get the green. Listen. You gotta stay busy, man. John you gotta Candy. Stay Billy. You gotta stay busy. Now, Bailey has no manager, but, and he has no trainer, and John Candy over there in his corner saw Bailey work out with, uh, with Simon Brown, and when he did, he said, hey, I'll work your corner if you'll let me. So he picked up this trainer a couple of weeks ago. The doctor for the Massachusetts Boxing Commission was in Bailey's corner. Not that damaging, but he'd have to stop the fight. But it's already been reopened. Ever so slightly by Scully. 
can see Scully. now that Bailey is pointing at him. And look how Scully is moving around behind Bailey. He's stepping to his left. Southpaws doing that are difficult to fight. Because they, they also move away from your powerful right hand. They circle to your left and they can go around behind you. Easily. That's what he's doing. He's getting the angle on Bailey. He's trying to go to the right rip gauge, trying to get Bailey to drop his left hand. Uppercut was effective. Oh, and this is a bad impression on the judges. Bailey is landing the one punch, but the other punches and Scully are, are landing. And that's where he's having problems. Bad impression on the judges. To lay on the ropes like that it makes it look like you're tired. Nice left to follow that right to the body by Scully. Bailey's got to get off the rope. Now this fight's going to be over in a hurry. The three six thirty is real close. He could stop it at any minute. Right hand done Bailey. The cut is wide open once again now. Just where Bailey does not want to be. He wants to move, stay out of range. Allow you land on him. Time to go by so that he can get back to the corner and have them work once again on that cut. Bailey's completely out of gas now. This is round number seven. He's out of gas, and it is easier when you're out of gas to stand in and fight like he's fighting now. To box on the inside and just push, Tucker. take some of those punches, and he takes a big left hook yep. there. If you are going to stay it, it, inside it, like that, right, tie your opponent up and let the referee break you. Don't let him get off punches like Scully is doing there. Bailey is just on buying time, and now he's taking some big hits. Less than 30 seconds. This is where Scully wants to come on strong. He has a freak. Nice combination by Scully. Right Number on the cut as well. I got it, I got it. A dominating round for John Scully. We'll pause now for these messages from your local cable system. Welcome back to these... I got it. I got it. We have almost completed our first fight of the night. An eight-rounder. Middleweight Scully and Bailey. And there's a big right hand from Scully. Bailey was hurt with that shot. Scully could still get a knockout. And what a bad impression on the judges. There you go. Right at the bell. Alfonso Bailey sitting again. With his hand. 73. The winner, gentlemen, John Scully!